and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Now basically I realised that yesterday was pretty painful if you've actually played the game to watch. I've been learning some things and I've been doing a bit of loot farming. I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to do any tasks or anything like that because I wanted to save that for a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to get geared up. We're going to go on out because there's no point having all the gear if we don't actually use it. We're going to go out on our very first task and see how that goes. Well, apparently by some miraculous miracle, the traders have all run out of body armor, so what we might do is we might go out as a scav really quick, try to get some body armor, because I don't want to have to take out a decent kit without some body armor at the very least. I think we'll just go down to shoreline, have a quick run, nothing too serious, just look for some body armor, if we get some straight away, then we get out. Alright, what do you know, we haven't got ripped off for once, and we didn't start off with body armor, so that means I've actually got to go look for it. I hear gunshots already. Jesus. Now for those of you that don't actually play Escape from Tarkov, because I'm playing as a scav, the AI ones won't shoot at me unless I shoot at them first. I, that does make an easy way to popcorn gear, but I'm not going to bother popcorn in his gear just yet, because I kind of want to run to that sound, but I'll have a quick loot around here first. Oh, okay. We'll take that for sure. Oh, it's got ammo in it too. Even better. Take this bad boy for sure. Only come out for some body armor and scored another AK. Don't mind if I do. Now, we've either got to go find a scav to cheese some easy body armor, or we're going to have to find a player and alleviate them of theirs. i got to say, the guns look pretty good in this game, that's for sure. Oh, okay, so there's still a guy up here, letting shots rip. We'll go up here and pay him a visit, I guess. Actually, what we should do is pull out the AK, because there's a fair chance that he's going to have armor. The sucky part about it is I don't really want to destroy it, but I guess we can always take it back and repair it. Whereabouts is he? Didn't sound like he was quite this close, so I'm going to say he's up top still. Like he's cleared out the scavs that are usually here anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to try to run up on the stairs and look down on top of him. Give ourselves the height advantage. We don't want to put ourselves at a disadvantage. And that way if he is on the roof, then at least we're on an even playing field. If, unless he hears me coming, of course. That doesn't really help my case then. So up here seems clear unless he's laying down somewhere. There's one of the scavs that he killed. Okay, there he is. He sees on the other roof. Hey, got him. Now I gotta figure out how the hell I get up on that roof. The recoil on this thing's not too bad, I must say. I picked up an AK earlier and I used it, and it was a hell of a lot harder to control than this one. I actually don't mind this one. Okay, so there's somebody walking around in here still. By the sounds of it, so we're gonna have to be careful of that now. Okay, I wanna get on the outside because I just realized there's actually another set of stairs. Although it's louder, I feel like it's a cleaner path up. I'm not too worried about him knowing where I am, it's just I don't particularly want him to see me before I get to where I want to be, if that makes sense. Did I just hear a silenced rifle? Definitely sounded something was silenced from over there. I just realised there's windows that we should be careful of. Oh. Not sure if that was a scav or not. But they're dead, whoever it was. What did he have? Ooh, hello. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, we had another AK. Okay. What we'll do is we'll fuck that off. We don't want that, we want that. I want to fold that up so it takes up as least space as possible. What we will do is we'll unload that so we've got another spare mag. And we'll use his gun. Ooh. Oh, unlucky. Oh well, we got unlucky there. We had a pretty good run. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help our body armor situation anymore, and we lost quite a few good guns there, but 
we was doing a scav run, so it would have been 100% profit anyway. So basically what I wanted to make today about was getting to level 2 with this guy, because I figured out that's a thing. And I have been trying a little bit so far, as you can see. But apparently you can do tasks, and I've been saving these for a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a task for him. Okay, so what we've actually got to do is we've got to go find these two items. Ironically enough, that's pretty much what I was trying to do on the scav run. Okay, so I brought out some gear that I really don't mind losing. We're not running any armor or anything, which is probably a bad idea, but not a lot you can do about it when all the traders are out of armor. And we are here to look for armor. I've decided to come back to shoreline. Go take out some scavs, maybe even a couple of players, and hopefully we can finish this task. One thing I really have noticed in the game, even if you've got basically nothing, because this morning when I was farming out stuff, I sold a little bit too much and then I lost what remaining gear I had. Go out for one or two quick successful runs and you're back to being able to compete with other players again. Basically, we're going to head to that area where we was before, where we encountered those players. But this time we're going for the objective of that armor, so we won't have to go in as deep, hopefully. We should be able to pick off a few of the scavs on the outside, and maybe they might have some armor for us. And then we'll head down to customs, because yes, I have actually figured out how to use the extraction zone thing now. So we won't have to worry about not getting extracted anymore, because, you know, I actually know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, that's a player. I'm not even sure why he shot at me if he was planning on running off. I had no idea he was following me. Question is, where did he go? There's a certain level of disturbance I feel when I'm being followed and I'm not sure where it's from. that was him. We have to use our painkillers now. I was hoping to not use for a little while just yet. If that was actually a player, he's going to be fuming. He should have killed me like 10 times over. Yep, that was definitely a player. Put those in there because you can sell those for quite a bit depending on their level. I haven't seen that gun before, but I'm going to assume that was pretty good. He was level 40. That's worth some good dollars right there. Fuck that thing off now, we don't need that. Got some juggernaut armor of some sort. Got a pretty good helmet by the looks of it. Put those goggles on. Not sure what they're for, but we'll take them. Oh, they did alter the sound, I noticed. That sounds really cool. Holy god, he had some ammo. And he had a first aid kit, that's good, because he made me do some hurting, and I'm going to need those. I haven't seen this backpack yet. This must be some, like, more in-game sort of stuff. Alright, that seems to have put us up a little bit, but we're by no means out of the woods. And what I'm going to do while I'm still high on those fucking painkillers is I'm going to get out of here in case he had a buddy. I think the wise choice would be to just gap it with what we got. Because I haven't seen this stuff, and I imagine it's pretty good. I should probably put in a bit of research and see how the meds work. I know the little white package one apparently is pretty good. But I don't understand how the morphine ones and that work. I have read the effects, but I can't remember them all off the top of my head just yet. I'm pretty sure the exit's just over here, so we're, but we're going to have to take it super careful because we're so low. And I guarantee there's going to be either a player or a scav here. Okay, yep. There's the scab that I was expecting. This is going to be really, really sketchy. I'm expecting to lose all this gear for sure. Yeah. 
Yep, and there we go. Wow. Couldn't even see where they were. One thing's for sure is the AI are not a fucking joke in this game. Well, the positive to that outcome is I was smart enough to put his dog tags away, so at least we get that. 31k, you don't mind if I do? Actually, I don't want to sell it to you. Fuck you. But as far as I know, he can't buy this item, so how do we fix that problem? What we do is we buy one of these. Nice and easy right there. We go back to our character. Open it. Smack that in there. What else do we want to smack in there? Fuck these pistols off, they ain't worth even using really. Um, keep the AKs for now, kind of like them. That'll do. We go back to old mate that can't buy it. Moved into his inventory and there we go, look at that. Easy done. Alright, we're back in the woods. We're gonna go looking for the armor that continues to elude us. We've got our meds this time and the tiny little bit of armor that I could get throughout the traders. But that's the thing, you gotta have plenty of meds on you. Painkillers are your best friend. And if you do forget to bring your meds, Tarkov will punish you for it. That's something I really always neglect. I always forget to bring meds and I always end up paying the price for it, as I found out while I was doing a bit of looting this morning. And Tarkov does present you with those moments of heartbreak, but it does present you with those moments of glory where you find some really good loot, like I did before when I killed that player. It certainly gets the adrenaline pumping in certain situations, and that's what I believe makes a good game. Okay, we just I just sent a player run into that shed over there. Pretty sure I brought a grenade. Maybe if we chuck a grenade in there might be a better option. I think that dropped at the stairs, that's not good. <laughs> it did. That could have been bad. That is really ear piercing. Okay, that was a player. Bag that. Ooh, loot. But see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You have that random moment of heartbreak and then you just get something new and I'll probably die again, but it's all part of the process. And it doesn't really take that long to get to, so it's not like some other games where you spend for ages just grinding up gear and then just lose it and it's like completely devastating because it doesn't take you that long to get it, really. As I said before, it takes you a couple minutes and you're back to being able to compete with other players, in my opinion. Oh, Jesus. Nearly found fucking Wonderland. One thing I really can't get over is how good the sounds are. Like, it can be a real pain in the ass when you're on the receiving end of trying to crawl through something and it's make, making all the racket in the world. Alright, that's him taken care of. I don't really give a shit what he's got. It's not worth risking losing what I do have already. Jesus, where the fuck did he come from? Again, as I was saying before, it's just like that. You can get gear and then lose it so easy. And more often than not, you seem to die to the AI, at least I do. And so I did some poking around online to see what the helmet actually looks like or where I could possibly get it. And apparently I should go back to woods, back to that good old shed that we spend so much time around. And apparently if I sit there farming scavs, after a couple waves, one of them should bring me one. Okay, so the difference this time is we've actually got to kill the scavs. There's no avoiding it, we need them to drop that helmet. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there's a dead scav, so he must have been up here somewhere. I don't think that was him. Oh, hang on. We might be unlucky. Oh, look at that. Probably actually put it on. Not this time. 
Not getting cheesed out of it this time, boys. We're out of here. Okay, so apparently I wasn't listening very hard, or reading very hard, because I just sent a little picture of the armor, and I thought it was instantly the white one. I didn't realize that's the reward for the quest. Turns out I actually need to get Ford armor. So I'm going to go to factory, try to have a little bit of fun, and hopefully pick up the armor. Jesus. Made me poop on my pants. Really need to get out of the habit of trying to hip fire everything. I've noticed that. Needs to stop. Pretty sure that guy had the Ford armor that I need. Now I just need to deal with this other guy and get the fuck out of here. Come on, poke your head around. Two players down. Paranoid as hell just then. Send that smoke moving, it just scared the shit out of me. Oh dear, this is not particularly great. I'm gonna have to go get him, I don't really want to, but we don't really have a choice by the looks of it. Alright, finally, we've got our body armor. Come on. About time we got this shit done. Alright, and that's that done. So we finished our first task. It was at a cost to our gear, but that's fine. Gear's easy to get when you're actually looking for it. I'm just glad to have that out of the way. All I need now is to get to level 15, I'm pretty sure, and that means that I unlock rank 2, which I'll probably do tonight. But I've been recording for a fair bit now, so I think I'm going to leave the video here. And I shall see you in the next video. Later. Yeah. Let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. dead up phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No one not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable.